Buildings and facilities are getting smarter today, thanks to the disruptive technologies from the Internet of Things IoT, coupled with many different sensors. For my Fiori development challenge, I'm going to demonstrate how my Fiori app, Facility Management, will enable my persona, a facility manager, Johnny Runner, to manage his daily task. Basically, as a facility manager, I need to have an overview and monitoring status to assist with my assessment of any facility conditions. There is a list of facilities which I'm managing, and for each facility, I can see the occupancy rate and the max capacity. Here, I'm able to identify which facilities are met with a flag or favorite for easy identification. Also, I'm able to sort, filter, or group according to what I want. It will be very useful if the list of facilities continues to add up. Here, I'm able to see various functions of a facility management. I will walk through every single one of them with different scenarios. Let's start off with the general information of the gym. Here, I'm able to know some essential information like the address, assessment details of the facilities and if it's IoT enabled and its current status, which is currently disabled. As a manager, I would like to know who is responsible and what are they responsible for. Given the scenario of any emergency case, I can access into the live camera to see real-time updates of what's really happening. This is just a picture to simulate a live video feed. Here, I can see the occupancy rate and who last updated it. Moving on, let's take a look at the swimming pool. Similar information here, except that it's IoT enabled and is currently monitoring. So, let's look into the sensors. Here, you really can see the list of sensors in place in the swimming pool facility and looking at its status monitoring for the different types of sensors. Next, in the live camera, we can see that the video feed is sensor based and is being auto updated periodically as reflected on the last updated timestamp. Given its capabilities of a video analytics, I'm also able to see the heat map of the facility. Let's say I play the role of the sensor with real-time feed from the sensor, the occupancy rate can be adjusted automatically like what I'm doing now as reflected on my app. Isn't the swimming pool a lovely view? Let's mark it as a favorite. The functions here are very similar for the library. Now you can imagine how much time has this app saved me from travelling from places to places. So let's take a look at the schedule for the library. Here I can see that there's a pending assessment to be done for today. So prior to that as a manager, I would like to see some insights. Here it shows me the graph of the occupancy rate between various time intervals, which is a useful matrix that can be used in many better ways in the future. Now I shall start the assessment. The facility is then updated as per access, the date and the rating. Next, let's take a look at the car park. Similar to the rest of the functions, in the live camera feed, let's say there's an incident happening right now. I'm able to report the incident immediately. Let's say that I take a screenshot or type an incident report, I'm able to submit it into the incident as an attachment. Aside from everything else, I can see the happenings and activities going on within the facilities and in any case I would like to add additional things I can do it so over here let's say adding a new appointment so this wraps up my prototype demonstration for build your own SAP Fiori app in the cloud 2016 edition from OpenSet I hope you enjoy as much as I do thank you and good luck